Remember when this was the only way of making a phone call if you were out and about? Well, all of that changed just after midnight on New Year's Day 1985. Michael Harrison sneaked out of his family's party in Surrey and made his way to London's Parliament Square. There, he made the UK's first mobile phone call to his father, Sir Ernest Harrison, chairman of a new firm called Vodafone. My father was at his home down in Surrey, and when he answered the phone, I could say to him, Hi, Dad, Mike here. Happy New Year. This is the first call ever made on a UK mobile network. And um, what was the signal like? It was just like making a normal telephone call. It was very clear. Um, it was... Uh, a, a very, just a very normal, natural thing to do, it seemed. Exciting new technology, but at first only for the few. The first phones weighed a ton, cost a fortune, and were really meant just to be used in cars. You didn't want to take one of these out with you. Then a few years later, this little beauty came along, and the mobile revolution could really get underway. Hello? Hello? Now the telephone has evolved into the Vodafone. There's nothing unusual about seeing phones on the road. Vodafone was competing with another new mobile phone company run by BT. And the engineers testing the network knew they were under pressure to get there first. We made the decision on Christmas Eve that we would go live on the 1st of January uh, because we wanted to be first in the field and we wanted to beat BT with their cell net network and be first on the, on the scene. By the late 1980s, the mobile phone was already a status symbol, an essential yuppie accessory. And 30 years on, it's hard to remember how we got on in the days when we weren't constantly connected. Rory Cutton-Jones, BBC News.